Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have another pairing this morning. So, if you watch the channel regularly, you already seen this coming with the 381. So, this is a 381 parts kit by Neotech, and uh, I built another one. It was, uh, turned out really good, really liked it. Uh, however, this one I got a little bit more carried away with. Uh, the exhaust roof comes in around 99, the opening, uh, and the intake is, you guys, I like this. Uh, my idea of coming up with this was great. It was a uh, 78, okay, for the uh, intake opening. Uh, so when you buy a parts kit, they don't have a serial number. So I put MP first, with major picks. Uh, the number uh, zero, and this would be the third one I've made of this kind, of this uh, 381. And then uh, the exhaust roof, 99, 78 for the intake opening, and 23, of course that being the year so i make kind of my own serial number guys uh, kind of cool i don't know i like it at least i get the saw back i can identify instantly on the case as as well as the cylinder uh of what's going on with it okay uh this 460 uh, clone which is a whole farm of 466 is is also a cool build uh, i really like the saw um it isn't without its own uh, its exhaust is widened it is in its 76.5 cc capacity uh, it's going to get a big bore. I know I've been talking about this for some time, uh, but we'll get there. And uh, a lot of saw builds have been going on. Anytime I uh, have a customer come that wants uh, something done, my stuff has to kind of take the back seat. You got to get it. So, but anyhow, uh, really happy with this saw. And so uh, I thought, well, why not? Last time I compared it against another 381. That's no fun, right? So this time I thought, well, hey, for, for just uh, giggles, let's see what it'll do up against that uh, 76.5 cc saw. So let's go ahead and cut to that and we'll come back and talk about it. Well, there you have it, guys. Pretty good results, guys. I mean, really. I mean, it, the, what do they say? The proof is in the pudding. Uh, this 381 performed magnificently. Uh, really happy with the numbers on this one. Uh, again, I do a lot of builds. I do not move the upper transfers. This is where I'm going to stay for now. Uh, however, I do the whole cylinder prep and everything else. Uh, widen out, do some transfer work on the lower ends. And so it's just where I'm at, where I want to stay for the now. We'll see in the future where we go with this. And uh, so anyway, good results. It is still very rich, okay, for break-in, okay? This one is running at specs, at lean. You guys, if you guys checked out the tuning uh, video from yesterday, uh, this one's sitting right at specs. Well, it was. I, I went out there and did the tuning video, so it might be out, because I couldn't find my, still can't find my, my tachometer. Might be the toddler, guys. I always blame the toddler. You know why? It's easy to do. Let's just be honest. No. So, anyway, that's the deal with this one. It, I mean, that was a big difference, guys. It was a big difference. And I want to tell you something. I gave this thing everything it had, uh, trying to make sure that it won. Really, I'm, I wanted to make sure that if this one did even hold its own with this one, uh, that I gave this one, this uh, 460 every chance it had. Didn't expect it to beat it, really, honestly. Uh, the cut that you guys seen in that clip is the very first cut it had. Still running. It's turning. It's running one and three quarters, almost two turns out on the low on the high jet. Pretty rich, guys. So, anyhow, we'll see as time as it breaks in and see see where it goes with that. Uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys an update of what that is. And uh, I've got several of these built. This one is for well, I I got the other two sold. This one was for another customer. It kind of fell through. Uh, I have a couple guys, you guys that are interested in one of the 381s. If you guys are interested, give me, shoot me an email at uh, Major Picks Power Saws. Uh, at, at Major Picks Saws, at, uh, easy for me to say. Major Picks Saws at gmail.com. Wow, that was, a, that was a lot to go through, guys. Uh, and uh, we'll talk. So, um, but yeah, there you have it. Really happy with these 381s. Uh, really 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 am i'll put a link down in the down in the description to the uh, video uh, where you guys can go to get these uh 
we are gonna do this 380 or this 460 build okay guys it's just uh getting time to do it i'm right now teeter totter and i have tomorrow uh this evening and tomorrow morning to kind of do my own thing if i want and i've been wanting we did a video about the 372 farmac that i want to put the big bore in and i also want to put the big bore in this one i also have an oem carburetor for this 460 kind of fun huh and so uh so i'm gonna put a big bore in it and put an oem carburetor in it that ought to be a good, good time so um, we'll see how that works out and so uh, kind of throw down in the comments which one you guys like to see first and uh, and we'll go with that one okay guys and so uh, yeah I, I'm on the fence about it I like I, I'm missing I've dealt and built so many uh, steels lately and I'm kind of itching to get back to my Husqvarna uh, that's where I kind of cut my teeth on so to speak and I really like the Husqvarna's, I do. But I've really been digging these steels, guys, these clones. Um, I just am. I know a lot of people are kind of hard on them. Uh, I still, uh, I miss the Husqvarna's, I do. Uh, but I really like these steels. But um, definitely, uh, definitely like the steel clones. I really do, guys. And again, you know, I have several OEM saws. Uh, Oh, 391s, uh, 362s, 311s, 251 limmers, uh, stuff like that. Several different Husqvarna clones and that kind of stuff. So, but these saws really have allowed me to take myself not only through Chinese chainsaw school, but have also allowed me to uh, do irregular stuff to saws that you wouldn't want to do to an OEM, okay? Uh, I'm a firm believer in these saws, I really am. For a local firewood guy or for a, a, a farm and ranch guy that want, wants to go out and if you take good care of them, they last a long time. I mill and mill and mill my butt off with these saws, guys. I have 660s that I have uh, milled hundreds of logs, hundreds of logs. And so uh, with, with, with minor issues, if any. And so uh, I'm also a firm believer in it's how you treat your equipment, okay? And as I always say, they're a lot closer in quality, or yeah, in quality than price. Okay, meaning that you can buy so many of these saws for the price of one of these OEMs. Uh, am I dogging OEM? Absolutely not. Do I love the OEM? Absolutely. But I also like these prices. Allows again for me to do Frankenstein, Frankenstein type things too. And so I appreciate you guys tuning in, guys. Uh, really been appreciating all the encouragement and support. Uh, not only through the comments but also through email uh, you guys are you guys are excellent i've gotten lately a lot of emails from other channels too guys and if you're watching guys hey i appreciate your support i really do um the channel's come a long ways in just a few months and so uh a few very few very small few have have take has come at me kind of weird for it but a many 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 of you guys have supported me and thank you so much um, I'm just a guy sharing my life. That's all it is. Um, I definitely don't think I'm, I'm just a guy in my garage that I built myself out of the cedar wood I cut. And I'm not trying to show off. I'm sharing my life. Okay, guys? And again, all my business is local. Um, I have a few guys that have bugged and pushed because they want one of my saws. You can absolutely. Uh, if I got subscribers that, hey, man, I want one of your saws. Uh, and can understand that if something happens, we'll work it out. Absolutely, guys, we'll do that. Uh, I've been reluctant until now. So, but if you're interested, let me know. And we'll do something. And uh, so, again, if you've stayed this long, please hit the subscribe or hit the uh, like button and consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. And as always, guys, stay safe.